everyone, Tani Games here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hello, I'm Tani Games. Um, yes, well, I'm here today. We're gonna go over a video. Um, basically, um, DLV Game Loft, they've been tweeting throughout today. We finally have the trailer for update nine, the Laugh Floor update. Um, so I do want to go ahead and watch that trailer with you guys and kind of react to it. Um, but they've also done a post alongside this kind of giving written detail of basically what's new in the update and everything like that. So I figured, why don't we go over, we can have a look, we can react to it. Some of the stuff that, um, we are seeing is, um we've already discovered if you've watched some of my other videos um some of it will be new that we haven't seen yet and things like that so i thought it might be exciting to go take a look and uh yeah we can have a look at what's new in this update okay so here we are it says the laugh floor update Hey Valley Villagers, Disney Dreamlight Valley's first update of 2024, The Laugh Floor, is now live on all platforms. Brush your fur, practice your punchlines and channel your inner jokester to welcome an iconic and unforgettable duo. And then we have the trailer here, which I'll react to in a moment. We'll finish reading all the uh, text and then we'll watch this trailer and we can kind of slow pause everything and stuff like that. So it said, who knew that funny business was so much work? Kick off this update content by heading over to the dream castle where a new realm door awaits. In the past, you visited a Parisian kitchen, an Arendellian forest, and now you're headed to work. You'll be clocking in on the laugh floor, but before you can begin your shift, you'll need to look the part. Create your own monstrous disguise. Don't worry, a standard issue Monsters Inc. hard hat is included. Snap a picture for your security ID and meet your new co-workers. It seems like the laugh power laugh power <laughs> launch party left quite a mess a perfect job for the laugh floor's newest intern but with a little bit of dream light and a lot of elbow grease you could become employee of the month for a brand new series of quests you'll help out mike wazowski and sully with a with a variety of laugh related tasks ending up with two new friends for you to invite to dreamlight valley but the laughs don't stop there. Each villager arrives with their own friendship quest lines and rewards. You'll just have to break it to them that you might be human first. Then it says, check your mailbox. As teased and unlocked by fans as rewards for our community challenge in 2022, two surprises await you in your in-game mailbox. All players will find a Dreamlight armor costume as well as their partner's statue inspired by the iconic statue of the same name found in some Disney parks around the world. We're thrilled to deliver these long-awaited items to all players and see them become a part of your valleys. And then it says live monstrously in the valley and we have the key art. And then it says, Mike and Sully aren't the only monstrous characters arriving in the valley this update. With new cosmetic options added to the player customization menu, players can create their own monstrous avatars with a variety of fantasy skin tones, patterns, contact lenses, and even fantasy ear shapes found in the earring menu. Oh, okay, right. So um, in one of my previous videos, I didn't actually check out the fantasy ear shapes. Okay, interesting. So it says Scrooge McDuck's shop gets an upgrade. Scrooge McDuck's store is getting a major upgrade and surprisingly um, and <laughs> is getting a major upgrade and surprising absolutely everyone that it won't cost you a single star coin. Once the store is upgraded to its maximum level or if it's already at maximum level, you can now expect a much larger upper level with a variety of pedestals and areas to buy different furniture types. In addition to multiple areas dedicated to wall furnishes, rugs and more, there will be an increased chances to purchase items that you're missing from your collection. And then it says fall in love with the lovely monster star path. Add to your incre... Oh, I can't talk today. Add to your already monstrous new look with exciting cosmetics such as makeup and wig options or kick it old school with Disney and Pixar's Monsters University inspired dream styles for your new pals Mike and Sully. You can also decorate for the perfect valley visit with your schmoozy poo with swan boats and chocolate fountains. 
Wait, chocolate fountains? I didn't see a chocolate fountain when I looked over the star path. I saw a regular fountain. And then it says, or oh, bring some Grecian inspi inspiration to your valley with Disney's Hercules themed outdoor furniture. You know, I had a feeling, I had a feeling it was kind of like very, you know, Hercules, Megara and the garden kind of vibe. So that's cool. Um, I somehow missed the chocolate fountain or did I just forget it? <laughs> Like, I remember seeing the water fountain. I don't remember seeing a chocolate fountain. Did I see a chocolate fountain and I completely glossed it over? My memory's clearly very bad. <laughs> and then it says, comfy never looks so good. So it says, pick up the new Starlight House Bundle in the premium shop to add the ultimate cozy collection of accessories to your valley. Featuring a variety of slumber party essentials for your avatar and a new dream style for Belle, you can decorate your in-game homes with new furniture items, including a starry sky projector that brings the stars indoors for the perfect night in, or select the new provincial library house dream style. As this new type of bundle does not include any quest content, all items can be found in your collection once purchased, which I love that, like, I don't feel like we need the quest content. Maybe that's bad to say, but, like, I I don't necessarily think the quest content added much to... Like, let's face it, when we bought the other bundles, we were buying them for the items, and that's something that I felt was kind of a bit of a letdown, maybe? <laughs> I don't know I don't know it's a weird thing like the quest didn't really add much and then I felt like you didn't like with the Wally one I felt like you didn't get many items so having a, a bundle that's focused all on items with quite a lot of good items I think is worthwhile and let's face it the houses in game are usually between 3,000 to 3,750 for a house skin so to get a house skin for 4,000 with a bunch of other items. This is good value. This is good value. Um, the premium shop also gets new items in our latest update with Monsters Inc. collection must-haves, such as the Boo Onesie, a Dreamlight Valley version of the Disney Parks attraction Monsters. Oh my God. A, a Dreamlight Valley version of the Disney Parks attraction Monsters Inc. Mike and Sully to the rescue and much more. Okay, that's exciting. Uh, players will also discover fan favourites from pre from past star paths, making their way to the premium shop this season. Expect to see rewards from our previous Pixar Fest and Centennial star paths appear in weekly shop rotations this season. Okay, so this is interesting. So they've obviously decided which previous items are coming back, and it's only items so far from Pixar Fest and the Centennial star path. So if you're hoping for an item outside of those star paths they're not coming with this update so that's something to bear in mind for some people um it looks like maybe the each update they might focus on different star paths so maybe those items don't go in the rotation quite like uh the normal rotation maybe they just kind of focus on different ones each time so what i would say is when these rewards come into this the premium shop if you didn't buy them before buy them this time because if they're scheduling them out like this you could be waiting several updates before it comes back again so absolutely if you missed out on the star path and you want these items get it when they come into the shop because they might be gone then. They might be gone then. Okay, hop into the extravaganza once again. Okay, we've got our Easter update. Okay, Disney's Dreamlight Valley Spring Event returns from March 27th to April 17th. Expect a variety of new flora to appear in the valley. Collect wild spring eggs, spring vegetables, and excellent, f excellent fruit from egg bushes to contribute to seasonal dreamlike duties and craft seasonal furniture. Be sure to also complete returning daily and weekly quests with Wally to help you stock up on extra event materials. So it does sound like a repeat of the last event. Um, 
it does seem like the seasonal events will be the same each year. We had the same event for Christmas and there was nothing new. I'm not expecting anything new with this event either. So, um, but it's good to know the dates of when it's coming. Uh, then it says, get up to date on the latest patch notes. Don't forget to read up on this update's patch notes for even more information regarding bug fixes and changes. As always, we committed to uh, improving the valley based on feedback from our magical community. Here's just two of the future features that we prioritized in this update due to their support from our fans. Make your avatar more uniquely you with the name change feature found in the settings menu. You can now change your name as often as you change your style in game. Then it says doors are back in Scrooge McDuck's store. Missing for quite some time with with we've prioritizing. <laughs> We've prioritized resolving a bug that removed doors from the shop rotations in updates past. As always, should you run into any issues while playing Disney Dreamlight Valley, we first recommend that you check our known issues here. If you don't see the issue you're running into, you can get in touch with our support team via our contact form. Running into issues with a certain quest or objective, check our friendly Discord community for some Disney Dreamlight Valley tips and tricks. Okay. So pretty standard stuff. Um, I'm glad that they've acknowledged that the door thing was a bug. Uh, a lot of people push back to Gameloft that it was a bug. And for some reason, Gameloft's social team or whatever wanted to declare it was not a bug and were adamant about that for a significant amount of time. So nice to see them accept their fault that way <laughs> but for now why don't we watch the trailer it is a minute long so we'll watch it once and then maybe i'll go through it slowly and we can check the new things out that we spot okay so the main thing starts in the plaza then we see the monsters inc uh door and then it says journey to the laugh floor and then this i guess is showing the customization options for your character obviously some of these items are from the star path and i guess this is our look at the laugh floor it says meet the monsters okay so this is sully and mike looks like that's their house looks like there's a quest at some point potentially with mike and vanellope these are our lovely uh, monster star path items, which looks very cute. Then we have a look at the season star path. And oh my god, that house looks incredible. Uh, the tool skin set. The uh, sushi bar set. This is the premium bundle. And then all this fountain and oh, so many good things. Then it says fan favourites return to the store. And we have a sneak peek of the centennial path and the pixar fest and then we come to the key art so there's lots to go over here let's rewind <laughs> and go back again <laughs> okay so this is a start now i think looking at this initially the stuff that i see is just the hairstyle which is from the thingy shop uh, not the thingy shop the star path i don't think the jacket is new the kind of like cardigan thing she's wearing i don't think um and i don't see anything new in the plaza to be honest um and then we have the laugh floor thing and then we see these these outfits all look like outfits we have in game certainly they're an item the jacket uh jumper you could get from the premium shop the hard hat is presumably new we did read the text um before which talks about a hard hat i think um and so yeah i'm assuming this is a new item we get this is the new hair from the star path and then i think all this clothing we already have in game i think these are the the mickey mouse jeans that have the patches on them if i recall correctly and then we're just seeing a lot of the look at this ear detail do you see that i need to look over the ears i really do Oh, there was more ears there. Did you see that? Hold on. There we go. These ears. Incredible. I'm going to have to have a look at these ears for sure. Um, then we're on the laugh floor and we can see Mike and Sully. 
there's all these doors. I assume this is just quest line stuff for getting into or getting them into the valley. Now this is important because this is kind of like their house. Let me pause it here. This joke is, I love this pose. He does that a lot in the Monsters University. Now I think this house is a really nice looking house. Um, I think this is definitely a house for the plaza, at least based on my valley layout. So I'm very excited to get decorating with this. I think it's going to look really nice next to the other Monsters Inc. apartment. So super excited about that. This, I'm assuming, is the inside of their house, I would guess. Um, this presumably sort of like a room set up for Mike, I would guess. I don't know if they share the same kind of like dorm room look. Um, but it looks like there might be some sort of like pranking involved with Vanellope. Maybe Mike tries to scare her or bring laughs to her, you know. We know how important children are in Monsters, Inc. and Monstropolis and things like that. So I'm assuming that's what this is. Then this is about the lovely Monsters star path, which this is what I was saying. So we can see here the toys. We've got the wallpaper, but the door in the background, if you look at the eye, it blinks, it moves. Um, and then this is the cute romantic stuff. So here's the swan. Here's the arch. Here's the fountain. Um, and then this is a character and it looks like she's wearing the jacket. We've got the table here and the uh, turtle. And it says, discover this season's premium shop. Now this is, this is so cute. So we've already got the, the tangled one, which is here, the snuggly duckling. But this house, how adorable is this house? This house is such like pink princessy kind of vibes, which I love very girly i i like this i'm definitely getting this when it comes for sure um then we have the tool set which we have in store at the moment um you probably all know my feelings by now on that <laughs> this looks like so this is the harry Housens. um this is the monsters inc sushi setup so it looks like this comes with free items so i'm assuming it's a bundle so we have the main sushi bar here looks like we've got a smaller table here which looks very very cute and then this kind of booth section which i love i think this looks incredible um, I'm assuming they're all free individual pieces. Now this is the Bell Premium Bundle, a bit like the Wally Bundles and stuff like that. Uh, looks like this is the projector. This is some sort of bed. We've got some pajamas here. We've got Bell's uh, skin. Uh, this is a popcorn machine, and then the house in the background, and then like this cozy little seat. I love this. I think this looks so cute. I am going to have a video kind of looking at all the individual items from this. Um, but yeah, this is adorable. Then we have this and oh my goodness. Okay, this fountain is super cute. It's it's not my aesthetic because I'm not a big Mickey and Minnie fan. But it's, it's a beautiful fountain. And then we have this like car racetrack thing i'm guessing this is what we read about about the ride or something for monsters inc i guess that's what this is a replica of i don't have a lot of knowledge about park stuff so when it comes to things like that i definitely am kind of in the dark um and then this is about the fan favorite so it looks like what they're gonna potentially be bringing back whether this is a full bundle or individual items, I'm not entirely sure. But we've got the bed, we've got the sofa, we've got the Mickey outfit. Um, I am curious as to whether they're going to bring the mini outfit too or just the Mickey outfit. Because I feel like it would be weird to have the Mickey outfit and not the mini outfit. Uh, we have the little steamboat Willie, and we have the friendship statue here. So... I mean, these items, I like these items, sort of. Uh, certainly the statue for any kind of parks builds is really good. Um, I generally have Mickey in this outfit most of the time, so... But I do, I do think, I think we need Minnie with it. But I am curious as to whether this is going to be a bundle. Like, imagine if you just missed out on a couple of items because you didn't finish a star path, and then you have to pay for a whole bundle price. 
I am curious. Um, and then we have this one. This is the Pixar one. We've got the up balloons. The up balloons are probably the number one item that I hear people say that they want. Um, we have the Lightning McQueen bed car thing here. We have the Incredit Squirrel and we have the Piston Cup uh, trophy, which I think is kind of cool. Um, this feels... <laughs> a little underwhelmed well, under obviously i don't know if this is the only items from that star path but like i'm pretty sure we had like the you know the incredible suit was that not a star path item like i feel i would have wanted that like i don't know maybe maybe it's because i don't really like cars and i i i fail to see how anyone could have the cars bed and the cop on their wish list <laughs> i'd say that i'm probably gonna have popster in the comments going excuse me we wanted that uh piston trophy for our dream snap <laughs> and you're probably like sat there like we wanted them me and luca sat there we wanted them <laughs> um but i'd uh, certainly the up balloons i hear a lot of people rave about so i mean it'll be interesting to see how they bring it and then we just have the key art here so yeah, fantastic. I honestly am really happy with this update. Um, I think there's a lot of cool stuff coming. I can't wait to get into kind of like the meat of the update, like the, the story quests and stuff like that. But yeah, I think this has been fun and let me know what are you most excited about the update. Leave it in the comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.